Okay, now question number 10 from January 2014, IAL C12 paper. Uh, we've been asked to sketch the curve C in the space below. Well, I made this axis myself, save a bit of time. I made a pair of axes, just, um, it's going to be just a sketch. So how are we going to go about doing this? Well, first of all, let's just think about what Y equals cosine X will look like. Let's think about what y equals cosine x will look like. y equals cosine x between 0 and 2 pi. Now, <clears throat> let's first divide this into, this is going to be, let's say, pi over 2. Pi. 3 pi over 2. And 2 pi. In terms of radians, because this is in radians, so 90, 180, 270, 360. Try to make them equally spaced. It doesn't matter, it's just a sketch. Now, the cosine curve between 0 and 360 has got this kind of shape. Something like that, right? It starts from 1. The lowest it gets is the minus 1, which is at, at this point here, which is at pi. Okay, it's 0 at 90 degrees, which is pi over 2, and 3 pi over 2, 270 degrees, and back to 1 at 360. Looks something like that. Now, this curve, you see, it's not cosine x. It's cosine x minus um, pi over 3. So the x has been replaced by x minus pi over 3. So it's kind of like um, y equals f x minus pi over 3. All right, so it's inside the function that the transformation has taken place. And it's like a translation where pi over 3 must be added to all the x values. Remember, it's inside the function, so you do the opposite. So it says minus pi over 3, you've got to add pi over 3 because it's inside the function. All right, so every, all the y coordinates stay where they are, but the x coordinates move by pi over 3 to the right. Okay. So, for example, the, the top point was at 0, 1. Now it's going to be at 0, pi over 3. Okay, let's put pi over 3 over here. And where it hit 0, which was here, okay, it's going to hit 0 here, but now it's going to hit 0 at pi over 2 plus pi over 3. So let's just work out what that is over here. Pi over 2 plus pi over 3. That's going to be 6. 5 pi over 6, which is less than pi, so it's going to be somewhere over here. Okay, so that's where it's going to it's going to hit 0. Okay, this is at 5 pi over 6. So it's going to go like this. Okay, and then it's going to, um, that's where it's going to hit 0. Then it's going to hit minus 1 at 3 pi over 2 normally, but now it's going to be pi over 3 more than 3 pi over 2. So we've got 3 pi over 2 plus pi over 3. Well, that's going to be 6, 9 plus 2, 11 pi over 6, which is less than 2 pi. So it's going to hit um, minus 1 over here somewhere. 11 pi over 6. It's going to hit 0, so we're back up there again. And it's going to go up this way. So it's going to look like this. It's going to go through this point. Okay. And then it's going to go through this point here. 0. Okay, it's going to go down. Then it's going to hit the bottom over here. So it's going to go like this. It's going to go up. And then... Okay, so we've got this. Then it's going to... Yeah. So that's... It's going to hit the bottom over here. Okay, it's going to go down, and it's going to go back up, it's going to hit zero there and go up again, okay? It normally hits zero there, it's going to hit zero there. Okay, so this is pi plus pi plus pi over three, which is going to be three, four pi over three. So it's going to be, this is four pi over three. So it's going to go like this. It's going to try and do this correctly here. That's the highest point it's going to reach, 1. It's going to go up to 1, and then down. It's going to turn here. It's going to hit 0 there. And then it's going to go up to about there. Okay, it'll look something like this. Okay, so it's normal point where it reaches its highest value. Okay, or the normal point where it, it, it reaches 1, which is its highest value, is going to be here. It's, it's shifted pi over 3 this way. The normal place, okay, where it hits 0, which is here, has been shifted pi over 3 this way. 
the normal place okay where it hits minus one has been shifted pi over three this way the normal place where it hits zero again has been shifted pi over three this way and so on okay so that's a, a basic sketch of how it looks like that's y equals cosine of x minus pi over three okay that's part a now part b is write down the exact coordinates of the points at which c meets the coordinate axis okay so write down the exact coordinates at the, of the points where c meets the coordinate axis so let's start with the y-axis okay this point over here okay what is this point over here okay so this is when x is zero right this is at the point where x is zero it hits the y-axis when x is zero okay when x is zero You've got y is equal to the cosine of minus pi over 3. Okay, which you can calculate with your calculator. If you take your calculator, you're going to have, okay, you've got to put it into degree mode. So this particular calculator, you press shift, menu, and then it says angle unit, which is 2. And then it says degrees, radians. We want in radian mode, so press 2. Now it's in R, radian mode. We want it in radian mode because angles are given in radians. So we're going to find what the cosine of pi over 3 is. The cosine okay, of negative pi over 3. So negative <clears throat> pi over 3. So you've got pi over 3. Don't forget to go outside there before you close the bracket. And that gives you a half. So that looks like that's equal to a half. And it looks, that looks just about right. Okay, so the coordinates of this point here are 0 and a half. Okay, that's zero, a half. Okay, that's where it hits the y-axis. Zero, a half. Okay, now we're going to find the places where it crosses the x-axis. Well, we've actually f already found them, haven't we? This is pi over two plus pi over three, which is five pi over six. So this is the point five pi over six, zero. Okay, so we can say this is for the, the y-axis. For the x-axis, we can say it's 5 pi over 6, 0. And this point here, which is 11 pi over 6 and 0. Okay? We could have found them just by substituting x equals uh, y equals 0 okay, into this formula. We could have said um, we've got to solve cosine x minus pi over 3 equals 0. And then solve that, and we've got the answers. Okay, well, we don't really, as we already sketched it and already put those values down, we get the answers right away here. Okay, so that's part um, B done. Okay, and I'm going to do part C in the next video. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled. Thank you for listening and watching.